A new pandemic would be a formidable test, but it would also be an opportunity to reaffirm the very best of our nature. The ultimate solution lies not just in our science or our policies, but within ourselves, compassion, our instinct for community, and our unshakable hope for a better future. We must choose to face the future not with despair, but with a quiet and determined resolve. Preparation is the most powerful form of hope. We can face whatever comes next, not as victims of circumstance, but as the capable and hopeful guardians of our collective future. This interconnectedness is one of our greatest strengths. It allows ideas to flourish and cultures to meet, but it also presents a unique vulnerability corner of the natural world and in a breathtakingly short time touch every continent. The story of a pandemic is the story of that vulnerability. We're not separate from nature, we're inseparable from it. Thinking about the future about another such event is not an act of fear, it's an act of wisdom and foresight. We must look ahead, learn from the past, and understand the forces that shape our destiny. It seems honestly, not so long ago, that a profound quiet fell across the globe. The familiar hum of our bustling cities faded, streets that once teemed with life became empty canyons, echoing with an unfamiliar silence. This was the great stillness, a time when humanity collectively held its breath. We remember the lockdowns, homes became our entire worlds, our offices, our schools, our sanctuaries, doors closed to the outside world, not out of hostility, but out of a shared instinct for preservation. We watched the seasons change from our windows, our connection to the world beyond mediated through screens. It was a strange and surreal chapter in our shared history, a time of immense challenge and quiet reflection. Our daily rituals were completely transformed. The simple act of going to the shops became a carefully day like mission. any other in the year 2025. The world has found its rhythm again. Whispers grow louder. Scientists, now hypervigilant from past experience, sequence the genome of this new agent with remarkable speed. They discover it is a novel virus, one that our immune systems have never encountered before. The shadow that we had hoped was gone for a generation begins to stretch once more across the horizon. The world would not react with the same surprise as before. This time, there is a playbook. The initial response is swift, almost instinctual. Health ministries and global organizations activate emergency protocols that were designed and refined in the aftermath of the last crisis. The language of pandemics, are not variants asymptomatic spread, is now universally understood. There is no longer a debate about whether to take it seriously. The memory of overwhelmed hospitals and silent cities is too fresh, too vivid. The immediate reaction is one of cautious, informed urgency. The world watches, not in blissful ignorance but with the focused attention of a species that has been through this before. The first visible signs of change would appear almost overnight. At airports thermal screening health declaration forms would become mandatory once again. Certain travel routes from the emerging epicenter would be quickly suspended, not as a panicked reaction, but as a calculated public health measure. In our cities we might see the gentle re-emergence of masks on public transport, a voluntary precaution taken by a populace that understands the mechanics of airborne transmission. There would be a sense of, here we go again, a collective sigh mixed with a steely resolve. The initial phase would be defined by this rapid, almost muscle memory response to a familiar threat. Data sharing once took months. Now it would happen in hours. A new virus being sequenced in one lab, its digital blueprint transmitted worldwide within moments. Immediate start, diagnostic test development, antiviral drug screening, and most crucially, vaccine design. The race would begin not from a standing start, but from a full sprint. Governments too would be armed with the painful but valuable lessons of the past. The importance of clear communication, consistent communication, honest communication all understood as a primary tool in managing a public health crisis. Nations have spent years stockpiling essential supplies, warehouses filled with personal protective equipment, ventilators and storage, raw materials for testing kits, supply chains, once a critical failure point, have been diversified and strengthened, a logistical response more robust, more organized, far quicker than before, a testament to hard lessons learned, one of the most significant advancements, vaccine technology the development of mRNA platform technologies, other platform technologies, platforms like a programmable operating system for creating vaccines. A new vaccine candidate could be designed in a matter of days. 
Testing and manufacturing phases still take time, but the overall timeline is dramatically compressed. This capability is humanity's single greatest advantage. The story of humanity is a story of resilience. It is a story of a species that has faced down and has not only survived, but has often emerged stronger and wiser. A new pandemic would be a formidable test, but it would also be an opportunity to reaffirm the very best of our nature. The ultimate solution lies not just in our science or our policies, but within ourselves, compassion, our instinct for community, and our unshakable hope for a better future. We must choose to face the future not with despair, but with a quiet and determined resolve. Preparation is the most powerful form of hope. We can face whatever comes next, not as victims of circumstance, but as the capable and hopeful guardians of our collective future.